Multiplication is just repeated addition. Let's see a few examples to get the idea. We'll start with 3 times 4. That little x is the multiplication symbol. 3 times 4 means to add 3 to itself 4 times. So we have 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3. And if you add them together, you get 12. Let's do this again, but this time we'll work with marbles instead of numbers. This is because I want to show you a nifty trick, and it's easier to see if we use marbles. 3 times 4 means we'll take 3 marbles 4 times. And if you count them, you see there are 12 marbles. Okay, now hold on to your hat. Watch what happens if we rotate this 90 degrees. If we look at it this way, there are 4 marbles 3 times. There are still 12 marbles, but from this angle, we see that 4 times 3 equals 12. The moral of this is that 3 times 4 equals 4 times 3. It does not matter the order in which you multiply. You'll always get the same answer. This is called the commutative property. The word commutative is similar to the word commute. A commute is driving to work in one direction and then driving back home in the other direction. And the commutative property says you can multiply in one direction or the other. For another example, Let's look at 5 times 1. We add the number 5 once. The answer is 5. In fact, if you multiply any number by 1, you get the same number. Nice.